In this video we're going to start talking about painting the interior and, and this is probably going to be a multi-part um, series about painting the interior because I think it's probably of all the jobs that we'll do on this camper um, I'm thinking this is probably going to take the longest I'm anticipating that um, but we'll see um, I have bought um, a sprayer an airless sprayer so I'm hoping that that'll make it go quicker um, so what we've done so far is we've taken all the doors the cabinet doors off and um, up here labeled everything and um, got those inside the shop and I've been taking all the pulls and everything off of there and um, need to get these drawers out and get those in there as well <clears throat> This uh, inside these front and rear cabinets, I'm just going to pull that paper down and just paint the inside of there, just like I paint the outside. Probably going to try to cut some cardboard that'll just fit inside all of these windows, so that uh, when I paint the inside, I won't have to be taping a whole lot, maybe. But um, we'll go inside and uh, continue from there. All right, so we're inside, and uh, got my helper here with me today, and um, got all the cabinet doors and the closet doors off, and in here, and I'm working on taking all the the hardware off. Um, one of the things that I found is that some of these, um, some of these hinges, uh, I mean, some of these pulls, most of them actually. Um, work like this. So if you've got this 70s, probably late 60s, early 70s holiday rambler, they're probably similar to this. And um, But since some of these parts are plastic, over time they'll tend to break. So I'm trying to look at some, a few replacements. Some of these, um, uh, at this point what I've done is if they're broken, just kind of remove this back part, just screw them uh, to the front um, permanently and then just put a, a little clasp latch type thing here that'll make it close and that that will work okay I'd really rather have all of them like this because I just like the original way that works also found that um, this particular little bolt that comes from this side and goes into this handle some of these are plastic and they don't screw off very easily. I've broken one and I've noticed that there are others that are that are also broken. This one is metal which is nice because it it'll unscrew um, nicely when I, when I take this one off. Um, so there's probably varying opinions out there about whether to paint or not and um, you know I like the look of this wood although it's not wood it's basically a picture of wood. Um, it is a nice material. It's very solid and very um, hard. Um, and they're all in, in pretty good shape. I do have some holes inside in the walls um, where shelving was put up or different things were put on the walls. So I'm um, just going to spackle those and, and paint over it. We've seen pictures of um, several of these online and they look really nice when you get them uh, painted. We're going to do an off-white, just a, it's called cloud white, and um, uh, I've, got, I've got got that paint over here. Uh, also, uh, this was this primer was recommended at the paint store, so we're going to go with that. I've used um, kills in the past, but um, this was something that was recommended for slick surfaces. Um, I'm going to go over everything and clean it just to make sure there's no residue on it and then uh, probably I might lightly sand it. I'm not going to do much sanding because if it's clean I don't think it's going to need much sanding for this to bond and then this is the the paint that we're going to use. It's called Cloud White um, that uh, we got from the paint store and told them what, what the application was and that's kind of what they recommended so we're going with that. And I've decided to try a sprayer 
um, I bought this one. It was actually refurbished, so I got it for a pretty good price, but it looks like it's all um, nicely, it's all complete. It doesn't look like it's really been used, but um, so I'm going to try that. I've read some good things about this particular one online, and uh, so that's what we're that's what we're going to do. Um, once I get all the pulls off and everything clean, I'll start spraying. And like I said earlier, this is going to be a multi-part series of videos uh, painting the interior. So uh, go ahead and click the wheel in the lower left hand corner and subscribe and that way you can follow our progress on painting the interior of this 1973 Holiday Rambler.